This is the Gaylord Building, the center of all the attention in the last couple weeks and hopefully the attention of the next couple months and years. It's going to be the center of attention. It's the visitor center here in Lockport. A lot of people don't know what the Gaylord Building used to look like, so what we're going to do is show you the old and the new. When construction of the Illinois and Michigan Canal began in the mid-1830s, uh, it was soon discovered that a number of the contractors were defaulting on their contracts. And uh, an investigation showed that these contractors had expected materials like nails and wood and bricks and such other uh, building materials to be available. Uh, in the Chicago area, when in fact they weren't. Uh, to resolve this problem and to prevent uh, any further contractors from defaulting, the canal commissioners uh, decided to build a 90 foot by 30 foot uh, stone warehouse on the bank of the canal here at Lockport. But as time went on, uh, the alterations of later years fell off and uh, exposing the original stone walls so that by the time that uh, we came on the scene, uh, almost the entire south wall of the original warehouse was completely exposed. Of course, by that time, there were a number of other openings had been added into it. Uh, many of the stone uh, lintels and sills had been removed. Uh, however, there were little traces. Uh, small pieces of the window frame were still left intact. There was enough material uh, in the building for us to reconstruct most of the, of the missing details. Uh, one thing that had survived, which was a unique uh, historic source, were the original drawings and specifications for uh, the building and together with the contracts, the bids, uh, an unbelievable find for a building constructed in 1838 out on the middle of the prairie. And that's one thing that I think is the most interesting thing about this building is that at the time it was constructed there was virtually nothing else here. This, this was uh, right on the frontier at that time. And it's, uh, I think it's, it's one of the very few structures of that period that survives in the state of Illinois. Well, I think uh, our first impression of the building was that uh, it was certainly a challenge to take a structure that had been uh, through so many different changes over the course of so many years. Um, and try to bring it up to a, a modern standard, but at the same time restore it to a level that, uh, that it originally was built, or at least portions thereof. Um, and quite a challenge it turned out to be. In our role as the architects, uh, and my involvement was, was mostly in, uh, in the early planning of the project. Um, trying to combine uh, the structure, there were several additions to the structure as in, in the past, trying to combine all that together into a, into a plan that developed and worked for the various functions, the restaurants, the uh, interpret, interpretive center, uh, the various features of the building, and pull that all together under the context of a restoration 
um, providing the proper fire exiting and all the particulars that we have to deal with as far as uh, building codes uh, certainly was, the, was one of the greater challenges. Um, as well as establishing exactly what the building wanted to become. Uh, was it going to be a complete restoration? Was it going to be an adaptive reuse of the, of the building? Uh, as it turns out, a restoration was the choice and uh, hopefully it, uh, it has been restored to a point that, uh, that shows what it originally was all about and maybe a little bit more. Uh, the, uh, the, the planning of it and the development of the, of the spaces and how that it was all going to work uh, at this point now was, it was a long process and took quite a bit of work uh, at the beginning. Um, we, we followed a lot of different paths, uh, tried many different alternative designs to try to find what was going to work best for, uh, for the various users of the building and what was going to work best for the restoration and the, the visual impact of the building as well. It, uh, the, whole, the whole scenario combined into an exhaustive effort by a lot of different people. Uh, the architects, uh, the clients had, had a major role in, in all the decisions that, that went on, uh, along with all the various consultants that were involved, uh, the historical consultants and uh, landscape uh, architects and so on. So it was really a team effort uh, on all parts early on to develop the project into what, uh, to what it's become now. The Donnelly family from Chicago, and Gaylord Donnelly in particular, uh, has a lot of pride in, in the Lockport area. He remembers as a boy his family reunions uh, talk about Lockport, and he's always wanted to come here, and he did come here uh, after attention was brought to him that the building was falling down. Jerry Edelman uh, from here in town, Lockport, uh, talked to Mr. Donnelly about restoring the Gaylord building. And after a lot of work, after a lot of time and effort, the building is now a reality as a tourist center. On May 30th, this was the site of a black tie dinner. Governor Thompson, area officials, the Donnelly family, and of course the local officials all gathered here to dedicate this newest tourist attraction for Illinois. <laughs> Uh, I'm Gaylord Donnelly. I'm only a fourth generation from early settlers in Lockport. Uh, I've got another one here who claims seventh generation. He's not that much younger, but anyway, we'll talk about him later. This all started, I guess, by my great-grandfather, Lull, who's up here about a half a mile, uh, <laughs> who came out from upper New York State in a covered wagon with his young daughter, my grandmother, in the covered wagon to Chicago in the 1830s. 
And he said, this mud hole has no future. <laughs> but I hear they're going to build a canal and Lockport's going to be the headquarters. So he came to Lockport and settled. And my grandmother, whose picture you see on the wall inside, uh, grew up and married my grandfather, George Gaylord, who did a lot of things besides being the legislature and canal, boats, grain, merchandise, quarry, and I guess a lot of other things. And he owned this building for a short time before he died. But Gay, if uh, Lockport was thought of by your great-grandfather as a mud hole, all you had to do was look at a map of Illinois to know that Chicago was officially designated as a swamp area. And so Lockport uh, was one step ahead. Jerry, I'm glad there's water in the canal tonight. <laughs> Only because of the rain. A lot more water than I saw last time. Jerry was hoping that I wouldn't see so much water in the canal tonight. It's like the mayor of Park Ridge. Every time he invites me to Park Ridge to hear of the noise of the jets going into O'Hare, they're never flying. <laughs> Jerry was sure I would see no water in the canal tonight, and it's booming. Commerce, we could get a barge down there tonight, Jerry. I'd like to thank all of you because as citizens of Illinois, you've not only provided support each in your own way for this evening, for this grand celebratory occasion, but as citizens of Illinois, you've paid the taxes. We've been able to invest in, in this and other projects which reach back and not only celebrate our history, but learn from it. And I think that's important. Festive occasions are grand. Restorations of old and beautiful and important things are imperative. But learning from our history to build our future is the most important thing that we can do. We should remember that on a night like this. Thank you, Jim. Uh, it looks to me like there's some shears here. Yep. <clears throat> and you got everybody lined up with the cameras and everything? <laughs> Gaylord, you got to come under here. You got to cut it to the back. Come on, Gaylord. <laughs> well, I'm an outside looking in right now. No, 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 no. Come on. 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 Great, guys, go! Well, that's the old of it and the new of it. The restoration of the Gaylord Building here in, your, here in Pioneer Village in Lockport, Illinois. Uh, it's a visitor center. We encourage you to visit. It's open Tuesdays through Sundays from 10 till 5. We have been showing you the inside, the museum part, uh, the Edward F. Worst uh, exhibit right now, and all the artifacts that they dug up while restoring the building. We'll let you see that for yourself on your next visit to our town.